Have you ever considered that some common items in your home may be secretly harmful to your health? The things you use every day without thinking about them may actually contain hidden toxins and microorganisms. In this video, I'll talk about eight insidious household items that can negatively impact your health if you're not careful. You may think your home is a safe haven, but you may be unknowingly surrounding yourself with dangerous substances linked to cancer, hormone disruption, respiratory problems, and more. Watch as I reveal the unexpected risks lurking right under your nose. You will never look at your everyday things the same way again. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Number 1. Antibacterial Soap you might think that antibacterial soap would help you become safer and healthier. But oddly enough, studies show that these products can cause harm. The active ingredient triclosan has been linked to changes in thyroid hormones, antibiotic resistance, and weakened immune function. And laboratory studies have shown it to be an endocrine disruptor. Triclosan also reacts with chlorine in tap water to form chloroform gas. Exposure to this unpleasant disinfection byproduct can lead to depression, liver problems, and cancer. In 2016, the FDA banned the use of triclosan and 18 other chemicals in soap because manufacturers could not prove their safety and effectiveness. Be sure to check the ingredient list of your soaps and refuse to use those that list triclosan. Stick to regular soap and water, which are great at fighting germs as long as you wash properly. If you want to boost the antibacterial effect, look for soaps with benzoic acid as it is safer. Number two, non-stick pans. Let's move on to the danger lurking in the cookware, non-stick pans. The convenience of these pans comes at a price as the non-stick surface degrades over time and releases toxic fumes. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, this material is called PFOA and is a probable carcinogen. When overheated non-stick coatings release particles that can be accidentally ingested with food. PFOA enters the body and persists in the body for years because it is chemically stable. It has been detected in the blood of nearly every American tested. Studies have linked high levels of PFOA to elevated cholesterol, risk of thyroid disease, and delayed puberty. It has also caused birth defects and cancer in lab animals. To protect yourself, get rid of old nonstick pans that are chippied or flecking. Use ceramic or stainless steel cookware instead, and be careful with nonstick surfaces. Don't use high heat metal utensils that can scratch or harsh cleaners to clean them. Number three, plastic food containers. The next item is plastic food containers. Hard plastic containers are convenient for storing leftovers and transporting food. But plastic is not as safe as you might think. Even BPA-free plastic can release estrogen-like chemicals. A study by the Endocrine Society found that these chemicals trigger genes involved in breast cancer tumor growth when exposed to common food preservatives like propyl paraben. Toxic additives in plastic such as phthalates and bisphenols don't stay away either they pass into the foods and beverages they come in contact with. Heating food in plastic containers speeds up the process of leaching chemicals. Over time, the ingestion of these chemicals from plastic into the human body leads to measurable levels that can disrupt normal hormonal function. To protect yourself, limit your use of plastic food containers whenever possible. Use glass or stainless steel instead. Never put plastic containers in the microwave or allow them to come in contact with greasy or acidic foods. Number 4. Air Fresheners Air fresheners seem like a harmless way to keep your home smelling fresh. But unfortunately, most of them contain phthalates, the same harmful endocrine disruptors I've already mentioned in connection with scented candles. Phthalate particles bind to dust, so they linger in the air. Frequent use of air fresheners significantly increases the level of phthalates in the air, which is alarming. Studies have also found elevated levels of phthalates in the urine of people who use air fresheners and scented cleaning products several times a week. 
Increased exposure to phthalates has been linked to fertility problems, neurological and learning problems in children, asthma, diabetes and breast cancer. So say no to air fresheners. Open windows and ventilate rooms so that the air is naturally refreshed. House plants such as orchids, aloe vera, and English ivy also help purify indoor air without the use of chemicals. Vacuum regularly, dust and use eco-friendly cleaning products such as vinegar and baking soda to eliminate the source of the odor. Number five, scented candles. Let's start with something that seems completely innocuous, scented candles. Who doesn't love the cozy glow and delightful scents emanating from these popular decor items? But behind these alluring scents are dangerous chemicals. Most scented candles contain ingredients such as limonene and phthalates. Limonene gives a citrusy scent and is found in many scented products, not just candles. Although it appears harmless, limonene can turn into formaldehyde, a known carcinogen for humans when exposed to air. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, exposure to formaldehyde can cause unpredictable inflammatory reactions, toxic liver damage, lung and breast cancer, and negative effects on pregnant women and the fetus. Meanwhile, the phthalates in scented candles work to make the fragrance last longer. But phthalates are endocrine disruptors. Too much exposure can lead to hormonal imbalances, increased risk of liver cancer, and problems with pregnant women and the fetus. These chemicals have also been linked to impaired brain development, ADD, ADHD, and worsening behavioral disorders in children. So those pretty scented candles aren't so great. And it's not just candles. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, 91% of everyday household products emit formaldehyde. Experts especially caution against burning candles indoors or in the bedroom, as this can increase carbon monoxide levels, leading to dizziness, headaches, and nausea. Use scented products sparingly and ventilate your home more often by opening windows rather than relying on candles to eliminate odors. And certainly don't keep candles in the bedroom. Number six, humidifiers. Here is another amazing fact about humidifiers. Many people install these devices in their homes to humidify the dry winter air. They seem quite harmless, but think again. A study that looked at bacteria levels in humidifier water tanks found that after 12 hours, purified water and tap water contained the same number of germs. Scientists expected the chlorine in tap water to kill the germs and prevent them from multiplying, but this did not happen. Experts explain that regardless of the water source, humidifiers themselves promote bacterial growth because they hold water for long periods of time. Without proper maintenance, dangerous bacteria such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Legionella and Streptococcus, pneumonia can thrive in the tanks. These bacteria can cause pneumonia, respiratory illnesses, sepsis, and more. So thoroughly clean your humidifier's water tank at least once every three to four days to prevent a mass buildup of bacteria. And when the unit is not in use, leave it uncovered and dry. Number seven, dry cleaning chemicals. Another everyday item that carries a health risk is dry cleaning clothes. While professional cleaning is convenient for fancy clothes, the chemicals used are no joke. Dry cleaners use harsh solvents like perchloroethylene, PERC, to remove difficult stains. But PERC is a known carcinogen. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, continuous exposure can increase the risk of disease by entering the body through the skin or by inhalation. Studies show that long-term exposure to PERC increases the likelihood of developing certain cancers, such as esophageal, uterine, and bladder cancer. Inhaling vapors can cause dizziness, nose and throat irritation, memory loss, and rashes. To save time, cleaners often cover clothes with plastic before they are completely dry. Toxic fumes linger in the plastic, and you inhale them every time you open your closet. Cleaning also uses the solvent benzene, which is a volatile organic compound that causes cancer. Before hanging your dry cleaned clothes in your closet, remove the plastic and let them air out for three to four hours. 
Also give them a good shake and keep them away from heat and sunlight, which increase vaporization. Number eight, thermal receipts. The next thing you probably keep in your wallet or purse are thermal receipts. At first glance, these paper receipts seem innocuous, but the technology used to print them is shockingly unhealthy. Thermal paper is coated with chemicals that react to heat and print the characters without ink. Often the chemical used is BPA, bisphenol A. BPA is a known endocrine disruptor that can be absorbed through the skin. Extensive research on BPA has shown that its constant exposure severely reduces levels of male sex hormones, such as testosterone, leading to erectile dysfunction and decreased libido in men. In women, it also causes problems such as early puberty and birth defects. In addition, BPA exposure has been linked to other problems such as uterine and breast cancer, diabetes, obesity, and eczema. It's important to handle checks carefully. BPA is much more easily absorbed into the skin with oil than with water. So if you just applied hand lotion and then picked up a check, you're going to absorb an insane amount of BPA. Studies have shown that if you hold a check for just two seconds with your cream-smeared hands, the absorption of BPA is almost 80 times the safe level. This data shows the shocking toxicity of thermal paper. Don't stash receipts in your wallet or purse. If you have to handle receipts frequently for work, wear gloves to protect yourself. While there are many unexpected sources of harmful toxins and bacteria in our homes, the good news is that with a little awareness and forethought, you can greatly reduce your risks. Take inventory of your everyday items, products, and replace those that don't fit. Handle plastic and receipts more carefully. Ventilate your rooms regularly. Use more environmentally friendly cleaning and maintenance methods. Protect your health by creating a safer, healthier home environment. More information on this topic can be found in the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.